I hope you're having an amazing day. My name is Colin back on the Digits Club YouTube channel. What is happening? Celsius is down 52% just today. DeFi summer, not so much. So where everything was great last year, DeFi pulled in tremendous mass adoption. Now on the current bearish cycle, we see more and more problems in the DeFi space, specifically with platforms like obviously the Terra Luna uh, DPAC of the stablecoin and now Celsius, one of the biggest landing platforms in the world, uh, struggling. So what's happening today? They basically announced that withdrawals, swaps and transfers between accounts are currently paused. More information here. Well, let's have a look at what Celsius has to say and what we can conclude from this instant problematic announcement, right? Because 52% of the price is obviously not something that will be good for anybody in the space. We are riding with a very important message for our community. Due to extreme market conditions, today we are announcing that Celsius is pausing all withdrawals, swaps and transfers between accounts. We are taking this action today to put Celsius in a better position to honor over time its withdrawal obligations. Acting in the interest of our company is our top priority in service of that commitment and to adhere to our risk management framework, we have activated a clause in our terms of use that will allow for this process to take place. Celsius has valuable assets and we're working diligently to meet our obligations. Which basically means if they would continue by swapping withdrawals, allowing that they would not be able to meet their obligations fault uh, on their potential debt and go bankrupt. That is basically the long term uh, issue that they're trying to resolve, not being able to meet the obligation and outstanding debt. We understand that this news is difficult, but we believe that our decision to pause withdrawal swaps and transfers between accounts is the most reasonable action we can take to protect our community. It makes sense, but it's a little bit drastic. We are working with a singular focus to protect and preserve assets to meet our obligation to customers. Our ultimate objective is to stabilize liquidity and restoring withdrawal swaps and transfers between accounts as quickly as possible. There's a lot of work ahead as we consider various options. This process will take time and there may be delays. We thank Incredible Celsius community for your support today. It's a pleasure to serve you, blah, 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 blah. A lot of disclaimer. So the disclaimer is as big almost as the announcement. But what does it really mean? So I have an article from CNBC here, just a random article I picked up, but it highlights basically the main problem. The firm has more than 8 billion land out to clients and almost 12 billion in assets uh, under management as of May. But what that means is uh, perhaps Luna was part of that. It creates risk, it creates uncertainty. Uh, a lot of these assets have been devalued and obviously there are larger problems at play. You know, there was quite some fight around Ethereum, Bitcoin keeps dropping. There was a couple of D packs of USDT, which panicked after the Terra Luna meltdown. DeFi summer as of last year, when basically most of the money was pushed into the DeFi protocols. Now people are experiencing one year later what the potential problems with these models are not necessarily a bad thing or a meltdown thing just something to consider that everything that yields higher than average apy comes with higher than average risk it's a one-to-one -one ratio more risk more reward uh, and the risk right now is being shown right bitcoin order tokens plunged with the world's biggest digital coin falling to lows not seen since december 2020 right the article basically go into quite a big detail um that uh the the celsius token obviously lost a lot of its value well this is what we basically oh i didn't put i removed it let me see where i had it yeah here we go celsius so basically we can basically see the the value here right so the all-time high was about 790 and right now it's 19 cents so it's definitely all the way down it's even almost at a point like where even uh, the DeFi summer uh, was still in its infant phase, right? Four, five, six cents, seven cents. People obviously lost trust in the platform. The Celsius token is useless. There's an extreme amount of FUD, uh, but I assume they had no other choice than to implement this because otherwise 
they're basically risking the livelihood of their company by implementing this decision. Uh, but they're basically saying like, we activated a clause in our terms of use. You would only uh, refer to this as a corporate business, I would say, if you have no other choice, because basically you're forcing the hand of the customer, you're locking their action. And basically uh, when they say we're not a bank, uh, which is like this picture, I think, or this one. He ha He's wearing a shirt which says, banks are not your friends. Well, in this case, Celsius is also not your friend because they're locking your money, you can't touch it, right? Uh, with the risk, obviously, of them not able to meet their obligations if people, when there's FUD, they move away the money from the Celsius platform, right? And that's basically probably what they have in mind where they're like, we want to prevent everything we can from that uh, happening right they don't want that to happen so they lock everything basically 1.7 million people call celsius their home not for long most likely right so definitely uh, i don't think that's something that they would uh, they would consider for the long uh, long term in terms of what uh, this platform uh, has now uh, done basically right uh, it basically created a well Hopefully not a death spiral is like it's probably trying to stop the company from spiraling, right? But the announcement is definitely quite severe and the market is basically reacting to this, right? So where we seen initial drop on Bitcoin yesterday, today it's basically continuing. It just keeps moving lower and lower. Look, it's going below 24K right now. Why? Because this extreme uncertainty regarding billions of dollars is not adding anything uh, but it, this is definitely part of the crypto process. It's something important to consider that we have to go through these processes to clean up the market. And although I understand people are going to lose a lot of money, people also have made a lot of money on this, right? And these protocols are extremely important to be tested to be able to see if there's longevity in this, right? If there's no longevity in this, then the, these companies need to burn to the ground in order to, to create new and improved business models thereafter. And that's how it works. I know a lot of people say like crypto to the moon, everything is great, everything will be amazing. And it will be, but it doesn't mean that every a single ID works. No matter if it's like $10,000 invested or 10 billion, ultimately there will be some problems and only the problem with the DeFi was shown, not when the coins went up, but when the coins went down. Right? And that is something that uh, I think comes to light with almost all DeFi protocols right now. Something we have to consider. What is Celsius going to do with all the FUD? There's an extreme amount of FUD on Twitter everywhere. And I think one of the most important things right now is basically uh, going to be... So <laughs> basically, this was from a couple of days ago. So this guy... Uh, is was basically one step ahead because what he said is exactly what is happening right uh, and now this basically this is trending so even celsius ne network here we go like 4000 reactions what are people saying <laughs> acting in the interest of our community biggest cap yeah access your coins whenever keep them safe forever that was like one of their slogans uh, but you can't access your coins whenever you want because they just locked it uh yeah it's definitely uh a, de definitely a big uh liquidity issue right so there there's a liquidity issue which obviously for a lending platform is one of the biggest risks that's how they make money but it's also if they have liquidity issue then at some point uh, you go bust right the bubble is too big and maybe these crypto companies take too much risk and again this is where regulations come in so government regulations will flow out of this is like a natural process. So it's not Celsius that is to blame for everything. Yes, it's this company right now. It's the, the mis mismanagement perhaps, uh, which will come to light and maybe they'll fix it. We don't know, we just have to be patient. But it's definitely a very interesting topic. And that's why I want to show you today how things are going to develop with Celsius, what's going to happen. Uh, we'll, we'll keep you up to date, definitely. If you want to stay up to date on how these things develop, curious to see, want to hear more about my opinion because at the end of the day that's all it is i don't know everything about DeFi, but i thought this was interesting and i want to show you that you at least don't miss out if you are interested in the crypto space if you want to keep up to date with me subscribe to the Jupiter channel if you haven't already check the link in the description for the digits club discord and we can have a nice conversation there that's everything for this video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one